72 hours left for the biggest moon mission of the country. The whole world will have its sights set on Chandrayaan and India when the much-awaited lander will execute a soft landing on the south pole of the moon. The last 17 minutes prior to the landing will be crucial for all Indians and ISRO scientists who have been working day in and day out to make this mission a success. Ahmedabad ISRO Chairman Nilesh Desai spoke exclusively to Times Network regarding the Chandrayaan-3 soft landing mission. Desai expressed confidence of a successful landing mission and assured that there is an emergency mode programmed in Chandrayaan-3 which will result in autonomous landing sequence in case if things go wrong. Uh, what do you really feel uh, we are talking about uh, this project? How big is it, uh, not just for India, as far as international standards are concerned? And today, I mean, I think uh, uh, after deboosting, the, the whole process will go on. What do you make out of it? Yeah, as all of you are well aware of, the, India has embarked on this very important mission of Chandrayaan-3 with the ambition of having a soft landing on the moon surface, which uh, last time we could not perform due to some exigencies. So this time uh, the confidence level of the ISRO scientist is very high and uh, the whole country is also looking forward to the safe and the uh, soft landing of our Chandrayaan-3 lander. Now as, as far as the activities are concerned, all of you know that after its launch in, on 14 July, 2023. It has undergone various earth burns. It has come out of the earth's gravitational effect. It uh, traveled towards the moon. Then it entered the moon orbit injection, that is the lunar orbit injection has happened. After that, uh, slowly the other moon burns have happened and slowly now on 12th August we have started the deboosting process also. The lander and Propulsion models have been separated on 17th August and now the deboosting activities are in full phase and uh, tomorrow on 20th August we are planning another deboosting session and before that today uh, it is in the orbit of 113 kilometer by 157 kilometer. So slowly the idea is to bring it to 100 by 100 kilometer orbit where propulsion module will be continuously orbiting around moon surface while the lander will be going towards the 100 by 30 kilometer orbit. So that uh, from that the descent will happen on 23rd August from the height of 30 kilometers. So this is the whole strategy. We're talking about uh, so the landing process, uh, if at all we don't expect it to go that way, but if at all it is not, po not possible, it's a hypothetical question that if the landing process does not go well as we have planned, what are the options, serious options you're seeking or the, uh, the, the, the whole, whole of this mission is seeking or the mission has for that? As has been already pointed out by various sources, uh, earlier we had planned any, any mission we plan to for its success. But this time this mission has been planned taking into account the failure we uh, encountered during the Chandrayaan-2 landing. So keeping in mind the various failure modes it, it, which are possible and taking into account that failure scenarios, we have tried to design it in such a way that it, it, it will try to overcome all types of failures during its landing. But in case we end up with a unforeseen situation, in that case there is, we have put what we call a one salvage mode or emergency mode which will result into a, the autonomous landing sequence for this particular uh, lander so that it will automatically do it landing on its own. So it has enough intelligence in its computing systems which have been put as a part of the lander payloads as well as at the part of the NGC computer which we have in the lander. So which will together will take appropriate decision for autonomous landing and in that case it will utilize the various camera images which are uh, which cameras which are mounted inside the lander. It will take the images, it will analyze these images in real time and take appropriate decision and find out the area where it can have a safe landing. So that salvage mode is anyway programmed into that and but we hope and we are hopeful that uh, we don't result into that particular situation and we have a very 
great moment on 23rd August with a safe and soft landing on moon surface. Coming to my last question, sir, uh, talking about Luna 25 also, there has been an unsigned competition now, uh, but which seems to be uh, but which seems to be taking on. Uh, what do you think as we compare uh, our Chandrayaan 3 with uh, Luna 25? What do you make of it and what do you think that how the longevity of Chandrayaan 3 is going to impact or is going to create a positive impact on the uh, landing soft landing process? So as all of us are well aware of, Russia has been a space power since long and they have a very good experience of such planetary missions. So in that sense, they always have an edge. But as far as this mission is concerned, Chandrayaan-3 was conceived after the soft landing failure of Chandrayaan-2. So we have already planned out this mission since uh, 2019 and we are going ahead with the plans which we have worked out all these years. And there is no deviation with whether the Luna 25 is going to be launched or it will reach there earlier or be before us or after us. So there, uh, we are not into the space competition or race as has been already pointed out by various ISRO sources uh, all these, uh, during these last couple of days. So we are going ahead with the plan which we had already envisaged as far as this soft landing is concerned, starting from 23rd August when we will start this descent and that 17 minutes by which we hope that we will be safely landing onto the moon surface. So there is no change in that plan 